Hello everyone. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about fixed drug eruptions. And these are actually mild kind of drug induced skin disorder. So these fixed drug eruptions are being characterized by one or more inflammatory patches that recur at the same cutaneous or mucosal site each time the patient is exposed to the offending drug. So if a patient having some kind of sensitivity toward that drug, he will have the same kind of eruptions every time he takes that drug. So that's why it is particularly because of that drug. That's why it is called as fixed drug eruptions. And these kind of uh, eruptions mostly appear on torso, hands, face, feet or genital areas. Now torso is your body except your extremities like arms and legs. And now these fixed drug eruptions are being characterized by a deep red circular and well demarcated patch like it has set its boundaries like there is a boundary between your normal skin and the affected one. And these kind of eruptions usually appear from 2 to 24 hours after you intake that offending drug. So it varied person to person that after what time you will have those kind of eruptions. And when these kind of drug exposures happen, there is usually only one layer, but after subsequent exposure, this can result in multiple layers. And once the drug has been stopped, the layer resolves and may leave a an area of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that there will be darkness of the color of that area. So it will be called as post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And this may be the only physical sign at the time the patient presents. Topical steroids may be given to the patient to cope up with the symptoms and if a patient is having these kind of eruption, it should be noted in his or her medical record that he is having um, such kind of response toward this drug so that such incidents could be avoided in future. Now, as you can see over here in the picture that it is shown a female patient developed such kind of fixed drug eruptions because of oral contraceptives. So as you can see, these are dark in color, like dark or deep red, and they are actually persistent macular inflamed area, which means they are flat when you touch them. So they are not actually something uh, bumpy. So now if you talk about the causative agents for these kind of eruptions, so first of all i want to tell you that drugs with the potential to cause a fixed drug eruption is virtually limitless but we have some of the examples first of all we have ampicillin that belongs to penicillins and next we have is aspirin that is commonly used nsa and the next thing that we have is barbiturates which are used to treat anxiety and used for sedation purposes. And next thing is Depson, which is commonly used for the treatment of leprosy. Many other NSAIDs also have the potential to cause these kind of eruptions. And oral contraceptive, as we have discussed previously in the picture, phenytoin is anti seer or anticonvulsant drug also has the ability to cause uh, this kind of eruption next we have is quinine which is anti-malarial drug next we have is sulfonamide tetracycline and metronidazole all of these are having antimicrobial action so all of these agents that we have talked over here have the ability to cause these kind of eruptions but many other drugs also can cause these kind of eruptions which are not mentioned over here. 
so this was all about fixed drug eruptions and one thing again that i want to tell you guys that once a patient is having such kind of eruption this thing should be noted in his or her medical records so that that drug could be avoided in the future so this was all about fixed drug eruptions if you have any question let me know in the comment section below and thank you for watching my videos